This game actually, I think, has controller support, so not bad, eh? <laughs> yes, welcome to uh, welcome to Fall of Porcupine. I thought this is quite uh, a cute-looking game. It's got a really cute menu. It gives us, let's launch into this, shall we? Let's new game. <laughs> I said this is like a prologue. Oh, I thought for a second because I had like a microphone on there. I thought it was picking up my voice. That's not the case. So, hi out there. Hello. Oh, okay. <laughs> Hope you're well, and I'm glad to have you back. Today, I want to update you on what's going on in Porcupine. Again, I was on the road for you this week and ran a lot of. Ran into a lot of old familiar faces. Among other things, I stopped this by Gilbert's this weekend and sampled Guila Guilano's latest creation, Wild Gooseberry Beer. That sounds good. Ooh. Highly recommended for fans of, of fruity drinks. It's more for holidays though, but feel free to give it a try. Uh, I love this time of year and you can probably guess why. Actually, autumn's my favourite time of year as well, so it's always, you know, I think it's the coziest kind of, it's, it's, you can get comfy and the temperature's just right. Summers in the UK, they can be a bit, um, a bit too much. <laughs> the hibernation festival is right around the corner. The preparations have already begun and I talked to the organiser. Some popular bands will be on the bill and local arts will be represented as well. Plus, of course, there's a big stew contest again. God, I can imagine living in a time of, like, a big stew contest. I remember last year, Chloe Colbert took first place with her sage soup. Bring your biggest spoon and try your way through. I love, like, little postcards like this. There are a lot of highlights again this year. Take a few days off and hop, stop by. Unfortunately, this is the time of year when days are getting shorter again. Today I'd put on a sweater for the first time. Crazy. Yesterday it felt like summer after all. But I guess that's how it is with seasons. You get used to the sun too quickly. Okay. So I'm guessing that was like a letter home from someone. Probably the main character. Oh. Excellent. A good day always starts with being late. I'm about to Dr. Kros South Krakowski busting your chops. Or a busted copy machine that doesn't even get warm. Anyways, I gotta run. And we've got, we've got to play, guys. So it's like a nice little intro there, right? Okay, so we immediately have a jump. What else can we do? Can we do anything else? Ooh. Oh, okay, this is our menu screen. Uh, hello. So find a way for the construction site. What's this? So can I interact with that? No. All right, that just gives us our objectives. Okay, I talk to you. You late too? Nope. I'm just here to show our dialogues work in the fall of porcupine. I see. Thanks a lot. No problem. <laughs> That's very useful. Thank you very much for uh, showing us that. Was that that was literally what our role was? Okay. So what's this role? Play. Oh, it's showing us that we can jump, but I want to go see what's back the other way. Let's have a little look. Can I? No, I think it's a dead end, guys. Alright, we'll get this way then. It's a really cute art style, though. It's, it's definitely kind of giving me a Night in the Woods vibes, which I'm not going to complain about. Alright, let's jump up here. Okay. Oh, am I supposed to? Okay, so I've got to use that as a way to jump, right? Oh, I feel like I was supposed to like, do like a double jump, but... No, it's fine. It's fine. Yeah, I was definitely supposed to do a double jump. Uh, okay, so I've got to wait for it to spring upwards, maybe? No, that can't be right. There we go. Never mind. I managed to get past. <laughs> All 
Alright, awesome. So I wonder if we're gonna like encounter we're gonna obviously go right towards the town. Oh Hello? Someone there? Rudolph, you hear something too? What do you say? Guess the last beer ex yesterday already expired. Make a pot of coffee, I got a hangover. <laughs> Wait, can I interrupt with this? That stuff most probably won't see any buses today. You got the day off, bus stop, enjoy your day. Alright, too right. St. Ursula Hospital. You how we heal. So we're actually like a little doctor in this. That's so again and half bad. But he kind of looked a bit overworked at the start, right? I guess all doctors are overworked though. Who was, who was that hat wearing giants? Are they wearing a hat? I thought they were like wearing like a little like jacket with a hood. But I guess, alright, that's uh, I guess that's probably... If they say it's a hat, who am I to say any different? That's a sprinkler there. Can't really do much of that. I guess like when that becomes like a winter, that all will freeze over. But we'll, we'll see. These generic hospital signposts are fascinating. You find them at every corner pointing in all directions. Still, you get lost all the time. Must be frustrating for a signpost. Yeah, I, like every time if I go to a hospital, I never know where I'm going. I end up just walking in the completely wrong direction. I'm uh, hoping I end up in the right spot, but yeah. Alright, so we got a little title screen. And that'll be the end of the demo now, though, guys. <laughs> yeah, you play for that little bit and then it just stops. Okay, so we're inside the hospital now. Wait a moment. Ooh. Are those chuck dogs? The last time I ate those was when I was a kid. Can I go in the bathrooms? No. Oh, hello. Good morning, Ingrid. You've been working here for two weeks or you're already late already. Oh god, I messed up that sentence. Let's try that again. <laughs> You've been working here two weeks and you're already late. Nah, I still messed it up, but I'm just gonna go with that one. That's not gonna cut it, kid. Yes, nice to see you too. Save yourself the trouble. Bad day? Bad? My coffee machine is full of mould. Oh! Don't tell everyone that. Don't, don't just go around telling people your coffee machine's full of mould. And the snack machine ate all my change. Oh, I've got choices. I've got dialogue choices. Okay, so... Uh, quite sassy. What's up to the snack machine? Any news that something happened last night? There's a construction site outside the hospital. I mean, they're not wrong. There is a construction site right outside the hospital, but... I don't know if I want to call them sassy. Any news? Did something happen last night? I feel like that's the most responsible one to go with, so let's go with that. Oh, a whole lot has happened. But I'm weak. So weak. I can barely talk. Need. Choco. Okay, I got it. Alright, so we go getting the in the machine. Have we got any money on us, though? This machine's dead. Unfortunately, there's nothing we can do for it. Time of death. We've talked to its family. Before it passed away, it signed a snack donor card. I will do my duty as a doctor. <gasps> Wait, that didn't look hard enough for that, what they actually just did. Thank you, machine. Thanks to your sacrifice, others can now satisfy their sugar cravings. Okay, so I've picked up something. I guess that's a chocolate they want, so. Is that a coffee cream prickle? Just for you, fresh from the machine. You just saved my life, kid. What was it that you wanted to know? Well, what's new? Oh, that's right. The cafeteria is closed today. Dr. Halil allegedly tried to heat up his microbiotic instant meal in Sergei's stone oven. Such a mess. I hope you've made yourself a sandwich today. And two new patients were put on your ward last night. One of them has a nasty rash. A mean case of shingles, if you ask me. The other one was barely able to walk. Suspected urinary, urinary stones. There we go, got the end But I think he's well on his way to renal colic. That wasn't a positive thing to say. I don't know why I said that in a positive way. Was that a positive? No, that wouldn't that wouldn't be a positive. He's in hospital. Okay. We kept them both we kept both of them here for now. I'm sure you'll meet them today. 
The things you know, Ingrid. I've been here for 30 years, my dear. Now, let me enjoy this creamy coffee deliciousness. What are you still doing in here? Hurry to the third floor. A voice Dr. Krakowski will give you hell. Oh, the elevator button is broken again. Don't even bother trying it. Got it. See you later. Yeah, whatever. So, the elevator lift is broken. Again. It often bugs me that I don't own a car, but at least I've got toned legs now. I mean, I, I'll be honest with you guys, I don't actually know how to drive. Um, so, I kind of go like walk around or get, and get public transport everywhere, so I'm kind of in the same boat really as this person. The door is closed, the sign says main storage room. Okay, so we can't go in there. I just want to have a quick look around before we go up the stairs. That's the janitor's room. Hello? Mr. Glendower, are you there? Leave me alone. I'm taking a break right now. Oh. Alright. And we're not going to bother them. If they're taking a break, they probably need one. I can imagine like being a janitor is probably like, a really busy job to have in a hospital. The cafeteria is closed again. I don't even ask why anymore. But I don't mean to complain. Everyone in this hospital does their best. Alright, well, let's see if we can go up these stairs then. So we know the lift is broken. But did I no, let's go let's go straight up the stairs. Oh, are we able to walk what's this way then? Painkillers, towels, disinfectants, bandages. Just a regular hospital shelf. Or a hypochondriac shopping list. Alright, we can go up these stairs then. I like the way they jump. You know the legs do. They kind of the legs kind of move like. Whoop. So this is the chief of medicine's office and the hospital's administration. Okay. So we're getting kind of like a feeling of a lot of different rooms, aren't we? Yeah. Their eyes are so big, aren't they? Though look how cute they look. I actually think all pigeons are quite cute, but I always feel really bad for them because I, I keep thinking back to like everyone always saying, "Hey guys, these you know pigeons are uh, actually you know we're all our friends and we just kind of abandon them," and I kind of feel really bad about that. <laughs> I think of taking it personally as a I think I've made the issue up. <laughs> this is our surgical ward. Okay, so I'm guessing. I wonder if there's like another way I can press those to go through it. So obviously I'm not on those floors am i going into this room i am okay so we've got two patients that we've got to look after oh okay so what's in this room can i talk to this one? Oh, i can't talk to this one okay i can't talk to that one guys so i'm gonna have to probably go back out this room Oh, did you see the sign post at the top? You know the escape sign? It's got like a little... It's got like a pass of like two horns instead. Oh, look, there it is again. So what's in this room? I wonder if they said to us like about where everyone is. I mean, I probably have to go get like their like um... Patients notes, don't I? Before I go and say hi to them. But we have two patients on our ward. So let's have a little look and see if we can, uh... Can I go in here? This is the way to our break room. There have been days where I haven't set foot in this room once. Why is there a break room at all if, if there are hardly any breaks? It's sad for the room to not be in use at all. Yeah, it's kind of sad. Hopefully, you know. Here's the storage room for our ward. Most of the time it's empty. That's why we got it. That's why we get the drugs and materials from the main storage room on the ground floor. Okay, so I thought this was going to be our floor, guys, but I don't think we can actually interact with anyone in these rooms yet. So the lift's broken. There's the staircase. I think we're in trouble, guys. They don't look very happy with us, do they? Uh, I'm glad. Uh, let's think of a voice for this one. They look very stern, don't they? So I'm glad you made it before it got dark. What do you reckon? Do we need to go with like a stern voice for the for the sort of is it like a a leopard? Sorry about that, Doctor Krokowski. Hmm. I asked the patients not to die until you arrived. They might not be so generous next time. 
I'll be more punctual in future. Not more punctual, just punctual. Just punctual. Well, all right, let's start the rounds. Time waits for no one. We'll start with room 301. I don't know where that is. I'm guessing I'm following. Oh, but I want to check this. This is where our rosters are posted and the cleaning schedule. And someone apparently wants to sell a bike. I might take a look at that bike. What bike? Oh, they've already went to the room without me. Whoops. So. Oh, God, guys, did I get in the wrong room? Yeah, no, no, I went in the right room. I went in the right room. This is Mr. Kissinger. He was admitted last night with a high fever. He's also suffering from severe pain on the right side of his body and an acute rash. How are we feeling today, Mr. Kissinger? Good so far, Dr. Krakowski. I had a rough night and I'm hungry. Well, that sounds perfect. I would have been worried if you'd slept well here. Mia? Yes? What do you think? What do I think? Your diagnosis. I see. Yeah, sure. I... Help, help me out, obviously. I'm not gonna, like... I mean, but will she resent us for helping her? Is she, like, does she want to kind of get the answers herself? Or is she kind of... I think we can help, right? I don't want them to get in trouble. But I also feel like we'll still have the opportunity to learn from it. Uh, I'm really bad at decisions, guys. You probably can tell that now. So I don't want to do anything wrong to make anything wrong on the game. You know, we're gonna we're gonna help Mia, but I feel like if they don't like it, it's because they want the opportunity to like learn it themselves, or we're gonna annoy the doctor. Oh, we could annoy the doctor because they've not asked us. Can we signal to Mia? We're gonna do like hand gestures. Let's. I feel like I'm gonna regret this. I'm gonna help Mia. Yeah. Huh? Shingles. What? Shit. Good. What's? Uh, it could be, uh, so, it could be herpes zoster, a very pronounced case of shingles. Not could it be. It is. You're right. I'd be lying if I said I expected that to happen. Let's not waste any more time. Get well soon, Mr. Kissinger. Thanks. We still have two more patients to visit in room 302. Let's go. The day is almost over already. Is it? Yeah, I was... The thing is, because of the fact that it's like a hospital, I feel like it's going to have like some decisions that are going to be a bit more detrimental. Oh, let's not, let's not quit the game by accident, guys. Good morning, Mrs. Kasparas. Good morning. Are the painkillers working? Yes, thank you. Thank God, that was one hell of a plan. Mrs. Kasparis came to us yesterday evening with a severe pain in her lower abdomen. She has vomited a few times. Urinating is also difficult. Finley, you're very quiet. Delight us with your beautiful voice. What is our patient suffering from? Alright guys, does anyone remember what they said? Because... It was, it was this one, because I couldn't pronounce it right. It was this one, because I'm really bad at pronouncing that word for some reason. But I'm going to try and pronounce it, not going to make a mistake in it this time. But what was the choices? It's obviously this. No, it was definitely this one, right? It was, it was, no, you know what? Good instincts, good instincts. Going to trust myself. It could be urinary stones. Correct. Yes, yes. Teachers, teachers pet, guys. Correct. Last night's exams were able to confirm urinary calculus. We suspect that renal colic has already occurred. More tests will be conducted this morning. However, we will have to probably have to remove the urinary stones surgically. See, I made mistakes in pronouncing it at one time. But a clean diagnosis. A little cautious, but not wrong. Mrs. Kasparis, I wish you a quick recovery. Call the nursing staff if you need anything. Thank you so much, Dr. Grakowski. Follow, follow me. Last patient, last chance. 
Wait, wait, where does the last patient, last chance? We got that correct, right? And we helped the other person. So far, we've got like two out of three, right? Good morning, Mrs. Amit. How are you today? Just a moment, what's this? Your dressing is soaking wet. When was the last time it was changed? Change. Yesterday, I think. Yesterday at midday. <gasps> midday yesterday, that's, that's, that's pretty, that's pretty like, Shouldn't they have had like another change by then? If they said it's nearly the end of the day. Oh, I think they're gonna get in trouble for this. Midday yesterday. Finley, change the dressing now. Oh, oh gosh. Okay, so we have that actually treatment screen, guys. Let's let's see, let's see how we do this. So treatment, take care of your patients. Press and hold the Oh no. It's a react as quick as possible, guys. I didn't think it was going to have anything like this in here, but okay. Press and hold the button, the shown buttons. Do not press other buttons or more buttons than displayed. Try to react as fast as possible. Okay. Right. I'm going to try. I'm going to right, put myself up. Let's, let's go. Let's go. We can do this, right, guys? We can do this. <laughs> okay. Let's go. Let's go. Oh. Oh, am I supposed to hold them? I forgot. What am I supposed to do? Uh, oh, gosh. I don't know if I'm doing this right. Uh, left trigger, right trigger. Ooh. <laughs> I was worried that was gonna. Hey, right, that that didn't seem too bad, but I, can, I think that's gonna get harder as we go along, right, guys? That's. Hmm. Okay, that's that's an interesting mechanic there. It's kind of like a, a semi sort of, I guess, rhythm game ish. So hopefully, I can keep up on that. Who was on duty yesterday? I, me, I was thinking I was going to change it. The storage room was up here is empty. I, I was going to the basement to get a new dressing. And then you forgot about it. Is that what you're trying to tell me? Oh, they're going to get in trouble for that. I don't tolerate such sloppiness in this ward. Dr. Kukasi, it's probably just an oversight. Finley, you stay out of this. Oh, we've been told. Get a grip, Mia. You're not going to get far if you can't have changing a simple dressing flusters you like that. Oh, hello. Little, little... I guess this is a, a nurse, ma'am? Oh, gosh. Dr. Krakowski, let's not get so worked up. You know yourself st how stressful it is here. We're all so constantly understaffed in nursing. These two are new. They need to get warmed up first. That's no excuse. I don't want to see a mistake like that again. And what are you doing here anyway? This ward's storage room is empty again. Just do your job and take care of it. These rounds are over. I think it's just that, you know, I feel like they're strict because they don't want to lose anyone. So I feel like I feel like it's okay. And I think they're strict out of like meanness. I think they're strict out of kind of wanting us to do a good job and wanting the patients to be okay. Because really if that person's dressing wasn't kind of changed, that was like such a long time, right? Because if it was like midday the day before and it was late, it's late in the day now. That's a long time to go about like dressing on something if you've got like an injury or sort of like any sort of leakage, I guess. That being said, I'm still kind of scared of them. Try your hardest, Finley. I'm doing the best I can. If that's your best, then woe to this hospital. I like the way their eyes follow though. Can you see that? Like slightly. Sometimes like when you play games like this, their like faces are sort of stuck in like a stationary position. Or like look, they're looking down at something. The fact that their eyes kind of follow, that's kind of cool. But I think the other person that we're is probably going to be um, quite upset, right? It's objective. We have no tasks. Let's have a look. Oh, we can jump on the desk. Okay, so let's have a little... Oh, okay. Why are they standing like that? 
Hey, Carl. It was great if you'd stand up for me just now. No problem. Why are you standing here? I'm waiting for the damn elevator. It's broken. Again? Great. What are you up to? I have to go to the main storage room on the ground floor. You heard what Krakowski said. The ward storage room is empty again. I gotta get supplies. Need help? I sure won't say no. No, but I could help you with the carrying. Let's not waste any time then. We'll take the stairs unless they're broken now as well. What could be broken about a staircase? You have no idea, kid. I'm sure I don't have any idea. Oh, they're following us now. Hey, right, so we're going downstairs and we're helping this ram to kind of ram this to go and get some storage. The music's really nice as well, I will say that. Let's have a look. Uh, so they said the storage, was the storage upstairs actually? I think the storage was upstairs, wasn't it guys? Or am I thinking of the wrong room? Let's have a look. Oh, I think they actually said, didn't they, when it was like... Let's have a look, look. Was it back up to the second floor? No, I think it was at downstairs actually. Let's get back downstairs. Let's have a look around here then. So I think one of the... We have to go get the storage bits from the storage room, so... Was the storage room... Was it round here somewhere? Oh, we can't talk to them again. I think I'm taking this ram on a bit of a journey. Let's have a look. Is it across here? I feel like... Okay, so there's the canteen. Where was the... Oh, is this it? This is our main storage room. My second home. Chaotic at first glance, but I have my system. You have a system? Yes, I have plenty of systems. Let me get our stuff together. Lindley, you'd better stay back, kid. Anything could be hiding in there. You think you're grabbing a cable, but in fact it's a King Cobra. Why don't we have any snake handling gloves then? We do. They're in somewhere in the main storage room. <laughs> of course they are. Seriously? No jokes. About King Cobras. Okay, okay. No need to get hysterical. Ooh. <laughs> no jokes. Let's get this over with, kid. I agreed. Hey, let's have another look. That's a lot of stuff. Oh wow, that is a lot of stuff. They're going to need the lift, but the lift is out of action. The day will be over if we have to carry it all upstairs. Yes, and it'll also be the end of the day for my back. And that would be very good if you were working in a hospital. This hospital is really wearing me out. Who knows how many years it can take um, uh, my body can take it. Why don't we ask the janitor to take a look at the elevator? Because they're on a break. <laughs> Old Glendover. Good luck with that. Don't you think he'll help us? Everything Gregor touches ends up more broken than before. Come on, let's at least give it a try. Alright, but only because it's for just one room further. I'm saving myself every unnecessary step. After you. Uh, where's the, um, where was the janitor's room? Is it back here? But they're on a break at the moment. I don't think they're going to come out of the room if we ask them. I don't think that room's the right room either. Nah, that's the bathroom. No snacks. Okay, so we must be... We've got to go, I think, way past the canteen, right? Let's just have a little look. Yeah, it's got to be... It's got to be... He's got to be back this way. But he wasn't... He wasn't very, like, willing to not take a break last time, so... Well, he wanted to take a break in the finale, so... Oh, it was right there. We could have just walked a little bit across and we would have got to them. <laughs> Hello, Mr. Glendower. Who's this? Oh, the newbie. What is it? Could you fix the elevator for us? I don't have any spare parts. You... <laughs> oh, that's a ram. Okay. 
You usually do it with duct tape and a glue gun. That's why it keeps breaking down. I'd rather save myself the trouble. Duct tape? Listen, Gregor, we need the elevator. And I need my cigarettes. I lost them somewhere, but where? No cigarettes, no help from me. We're in a hospital, dude. You gotta, you gotta, you gotta give... You gotta give, you gotta, you know, give a little... I guess we can get you some cigarettes, yeah? If I find your cigarettes for you, will you help us with the elevator? Hmm, maybe. Maybe. Say yes, you old grouch. Yes, yes, all right. I was on the front entrance parking lot this morning. I took the trash to the dumpsters at the back entrance. And I took a look at the Ingrid's coffee machine. But there's nothing more I can do for it. So my smoke's supposed to be there somewhere. I'm on it. I'm going back to our stuff. Don't want anything else getting stolen. Okay, so, so look, we've got an objective here. Oh, I thought we did. Find Gregor's cigarettes. Okay. So it said it might be in the front kind of parking lot, but they also said it might be where her coffee machine is. We know her coffee machine's full of mould, so it definitely needs a look at that. Listen, trash can. I don't trust you. I've got my eye on you. Alright, it's a bit of a suspicious trash can, that's fine. I'm not gonna, I don't think I need to go to the machine again, so let's go back outside. But I feel like games like this often have, like, when, when it gets serious, and when it's, like, a bit kind of, you yeah, know, when it gets serious, it gets real heart-wrenching, so I feel like when the scenes are going to be uh, dark in this, or there's, like, stuff that happens that's, not, you know, that's a bit worrying, it's going to hit real hard because of the type of art style and because of the type of game it is. Especially because it's in a hospital. A hospital could use more art like this. But I'm afraid Mr. Heydrich and Mr. and Dr. Theobald from the hospital management have a different opinion. Nevertheless, thanks anonymous artist. There we go. Alright, so they've lost their cigarettes. They've got to be out here somewhere, right? We can't interact with those leaves, so this is where it cuts off. We can't touch any of these vehicles. Are they in the trash? No. So he said he lost them um, coming up from the car park and on their sort of coffee machine, so maybe we can talk to them. Have you seen Gregor's pack of smokes? His cigarettes? Someday I'll find him dead in this storeroom. No then. No, he stopped by here briefly this morning to look at the coffee machine. He still had his cigarettes then. He definitely asked if he wanted to take for one of smoke at the back entrance. He knows I don't smoke at work though. Very sensible. Okay, so where did they lose them then? I feel like it's going to be somewhere really obvious. Or maybe somewhere... Oh! Down? No. I'll count to three. Did she count to three? Okay, she's, no, she doesn't count to three, you guys. I thought we were, I, d I definitely thought we were in trouble then. <laughs> so, I don't, I don't think I realised we can go all the way down in this corridor, guys, so... And we're outside in a different section. Gregor said he was at the dumpsters this morning. There really are cigarettes in here. And they still look pretty good. The reddish brown sludge must have been on the pack before. Okay. I didn't realise we could go all the way down the corridor, but now we know. That's on me, guys. <laughs> the ambulance is probably some better days, too. I think even the equipment at my alma mater was more, um, alma mater, uh, Americans in chat, correct me if I'm wrong in saying that, uh, was more modern than this. And even that could be described as antique. Well, as long as it's still running, you don't have to retire it yet. I kind of like that old jalopy. Let's go in there. So we've got the cigarettes. So for future reference, we know we can run all the way down some corridors. So that led us all the way to the exit and he led us all the way back, but we can go and give the janitor his cigarettes. Mr. Glenzoa, hello. Yes, newbie. Your cigarettes. I got them. They were by the dumpsters. Good stuff, kiddo. You're And you're really going to fix the elevator now? With duct tape? Well, you got to work with what's available. 
I don't even ask them upstairs anymore. Management always promises they, they'd ordered new stuff, but nothing ever arrives. Maybe I'll give it a good, good a couple of good whacks. That usually helps too. Hopefully you'll get off my back when I'm done with it. No problem. Thanks. Okay. Send it in the cigarettes to them. I'm always surprised whenever so anything works in this dump. I'm not promising anything, but I think we can use the elevator now, again now. Pure luxury. Enjoy it while you can, it could be over soon. And when that time comes, try not to be in the elevator. Aye aye. You're of great help, Finley. We can use people like you in this hospital. I'm glad I could help. Now get going, you should start taking care of your patients. Talk to Dr. Kraskowski. She'll give you your assignments for today's shift. Will do. See you later. There ain't no way around that. Okay, so let's go see Krakowski, I guess. Oh. Interesting. Oh, okay, it's because we couldn't go to the barn on the bottom floor anymore. There you are, Finley. Where have you been hiding this time? I was helping Carl carry the boxes to the storage room. They're pretty heavy. That's very kind of you, Finley. But let the nurses take care of that. You've done more than enough. I've assigned you three patients today. Look at your smartphone. My smartphone? We're testing digital patient records right now. You can download your patient information for before your shift begins. Oh, okay, got it. Okay, so this is where we can use our phone more. So let's have a little look. New tasks available. Downloading today's schedule. Schedule updated. We have three patients, guys. Okay. Our objective is just to take care of our patients. And I think that means if there are any sort of issues they're experiencing that we like kind of report those in, I'm gonna guess. Alright, it's so a 301. Hello, Mr. Kissinger. What's new? I'm asking you. I'm spending most of my days lying in bed lately. Doing nothing. Looking out of the window. Did you know that today is the beginning of the meteorological fall? Is that right? No, I didn't know that. We've never had so little rain in the summer as we've had this year. That's fine by me. Okay, so we've got options here, guys, and this is to do with patience, so hopefully, you know. Let me take another look at that rash of yours. How come you know so much about meteorology? Are you in any pain? I feel like, um, I feel like I want to know more about meteorology, but I feel like, because we're their doctor, I think we should look at like, but I feel like making them comfortable is also a part of our experience, right? So, but let me take another look at that rash of yours. Are you in any pain? Yeah, I'm hoping I can ask all three. That'd be nice, wouldn't it? Let's, let's just go for it. Let's ask them, because I feel like that's, at the moment, they're in hospital. They do, they do want to know what's going on, though, and they want to be out for the meteorology, but I kind of want to know what's about that. When I was young, when I was young, I wanted to be a meteorologist. We know so little about it, and yet we're all so into, we're all so dependent on the weather. It can ruin our day or make it perfect, cheer us up or make us sad, burn our skin or rain on our long planned picnic. It does whatever it does, and all we can do is play along. I'm sure you would have made a fine meteorologist. Why didn't you stick with it? I'd intended to, but I had to deal with a few things at that time. Besides, meteorologists are pretty unpopular. When it rains, at least. I see. Do you regret it? Ooh, see, it's removed those options, guys. Okay, um... So, it's, it's when we ask a question, it looks like it removes those options and puts us into a fresh batch. So, I don't want to say, do you regret it? I want to... I'd like to examine your heart. I don't remember what their medical issues were. I should have looked. Yeah, I think we cheered them up. I think they wanted to talk about that anyway, because they brought it up themselves, didn't they? I'll tell you what, but let's, let's go medical for this one. And just kind of like, you know, hopefully then we've chosen the right sort of... 
does that hurt? Just lying around is already pretty painful, you know. No, it's not that bad, I, pr I promise. Yeah, I, I had an opportunity to look at their medical notes and I forgot. Oh, this way? Oh, it's one of these again, guys, sorry. <laughs> uh, that way? Oh, B? X? A? Ooh. I missed that girl with one. Oh, gosh. <laughs> it's harder than it looks, guys. <laughs> Alright, treatment complete. We got an A for that. Hopefully that's a good sign then. Alright, that's it. What do you think? That's a pretty nasty case of shingle. We need to keep an eye on your rash and treat it regularly. Your circulation seems fine now. Alright, your instruments are pretty cold. They always are, I'm afraid. There's nothing you can do about it. One of the great mysteries of the universe. Fascinating. Have a lovely day. Okay, I'm going to have a look at the phone this time because I feel like they said that we can look at their medical notes. But I guess not. Didn't they say they were trying it out? Maybe like that was just... Yeah, I guess we're not able to actually look at them. Alright, so our second patient's into 302. I hope with uh, I hope that was what I thought it was, and they we didn't accidentally miss. Can't you see I'm busy? In fact, you should be too. All right, all right. I'm I'm getting on it. I'm getting on it. Let's go in this room then. Okay, so I guess in that over the other side of the room as well. I want to see if we can look at them, but I don't think we can. Tasks in progress. Yeah, it must just be that it's just to take care of them, so. How are you, Miss Sanis? Hmm. Oh, much, much better. The painkillers have got me flying high. I'm glad to hear it. <laughs> are we glad to hear it? Could I maybe have some more of them? Well, unless it's absolutely necessary, then no. Oh, that's too bad. And how about under the table? For later. Mrs. Amit. Alright. My family physician is more relaxed about that kind of thing than you are. You won't need any pain more painkillers, I promise. I will take extra special care of your treatment. Alright, I'll take your word for it. Oh, okay, so we're going straight into treatment again, guys. Okay, that one. Uh, that one. There we go. Uh, this way. That way. B. Oh, can I press B and A? There we go. Oh. Yeah, I'm like, I'm like, I, I keep going to press the button and then I don't leave enough space for my hand to get around to the other button. Oh, we got B for that. <laughs> Whoops. <laughs> You know what, a B, a B, a B is absolutely fine. We don't need to get an A every time. B's are fantastic, C's are fantastic. If we fail, then that's when we should be concerned. But there's always, you know, in a hospital, not in life. If you fail in life, just pick yourself back up again, it's all right. But if you fail in a hospital, I guess it's probably a bit more serious. You see? Didn't hurt at all, did it? I don't know. I bet it'd be gone after dinner. You're the doctor. I'll check on you again tomorrow, okay? Alright. Yeah, it's like Twister. It's like I, I literally had my B, like I had my finger on B and then I had to go, like I uh, had the two fingers there and then it was like, oh, Twister, I did this one. And I was like, oh no. <laughs> you can't see me struggling with the controller, but you can sense it. <laughs> okay, and our last patient's P31. I think that's either way, actually. P31, that's the roof. Alright, so we've got an empty bed. So we might get another patient in the future. Let's go speak to this one. Good afternoon, Mrs. D Miss, sorry. Good afternoon, Miss Delwyn. My name is Finley, and I'm your attending physician. Hello, Doctor. My name is Cassia Delwyn, and I'm your patient today. Here's to a good working relationship. I'll make a storybook patient, you'll see. Nausea, abdominal pain, muscle cramps. 
I got it all. No spoilers, Mrs. Delwyn. Let me try to do my job as well. Alright, let's get on with it then. Oh, okay. <laughs> let's, uh, oh! Oh, guys, we got a different one this time. Okay, so, find the correct symbol combination. A blue mark shows you that a right symbol is in the wrong position. A green mark shows you that it's in the right position. The right symbol is in the correct position. So we want it to be green. And blue means it's not in the right one. Okay. In addition, symbols will be highlighted green when they are in the correct position. Okay. A symbol will not be in the correct com combination more than one time. Find the correct combination within eight rounds. Ooh, okay. Uh, so... Oh, okay. Okay, so they said, didn't they say they had like, um... Oh gosh, okay. So they said they had like, nausea, right? I'm a bit unsure about this one. But, we've got eight chances to get it right or wrong. So it's going to let us probably... It'll tell us if they're in different positions. So let's have a little look. we got bone there. Let's put the eye there. And let's put the... Let's put the foot there. Let's just try that. We got three blues, so these are all correct, but we haven't got them in the right position. So it's kind of like the, um... Oh, what's that game that you can play now? Am I thinking like it's like a bit like Wordle, but with like shapes? <laughs> That's why I'm going to interpret it. Right, let's try to put the eye there, let's try to put the foot there. Uh, let's try to put the... Um, heart there, and let's try to put the bone here. Let's try that. Oh, they're all still not in the right position. Okay, bone there. Heart here. Uh, we, I, we tried the eye there last time. Let's try the foot there and let's try the... Eye here. Ooh, okay, we got two. We got two guys. Alright, so we know the bone's correct. We know the foot's correct. So we just need to swap these two around, right? There we go. That's not too bad. I think I thought that was going to be way worse. I feel like the more you probably do the game, I feel like it might get like, harder, but yeah, that wasn't too bad, was it? <laughs> I think I was worried it's going to be like way worse in my head. What do you think? I have a suspicion. Let's we'll do more, some more examinations. Someone will come by later to draw blood. And tomorrow, we'll know more. Alright. You're an excellent patient. I'll recommend you to the staff. Thank you. See you tomorrow then. I'll be here. Oh, and can you do me a favour? What can I do for you? If there's a blueberry pudding left over somewhere, I'll gladly take two tonight. If I come across a blueberry pudding, it's all yours. Perfect. Alright, so should we try and find a blueberry pudding, guys? Because we've taken care of our patients, right? Yeah. So they want a blue they want two blueberry berry puddings. But the cafeteria is closed. Hi there, we're finished. Did you take care of all of your patients? Yes, all taken care of. Hang on in there, Finley. You haven't been with us long, but I see potential in you. Don't underestimate this job. Don't underestimate your responsibility. Maybe then you will make it here. Go home now. You're working the late shift tomorrow. Then we'll see what you're made of. Have a nice evening. I'm going to see if we can find a blueberry pudding first, though. Do you guys reckon we can? Or do you reckon that's just something that was like... Because they said take care of your patients. But I also feel like she's, you know... She's in hospital. Maybe we could just go and find her a little... Just see if we can find some. And then we'll go home and rest. Yeah, we'll go home and rest. We'll go, f we'll go to... I just want to see if they do have any. But the canteen is closed. Hmm. Maybe we can ask the woman at reception. Let's go check. Uh, oh, it's on that floor. See if we can find it, because I feel like it was very specific of her to mention two blueberry puddings, and I feel like, you know, like, she was obviously already kind of, like, struggling. I wonder, though, if we're actually going to be able to find any. Yeah, let's go check, actually. We'll go check the... We'll go check with the, the kind of head nurse, I guess. They do at the desk, maybe. Administration. Yes, can you tell us? Get out of here, kid. 
You're working the late shift tomorrow, aren't you? Yes. Finally, I get the chance to sleep in. Sleep in? Never heard of it. Is that youth slang? Have a nice evening, Ingrid. Okay, so Ingrid didn't give us details. Oh? Hey, already thinking about going home. Ready for the end of the day. Ready for my bed. What? No, no, no. Come down to Gilbert's with me. We'll have a drink together. But I haven't found blueberry puddings yet. One drink. One will soon become five. Come on, don't be a party pooper. Alright, but let's take Mia with us. She's had a rough day. Go ask her. I'll wait here. I've just seen Mia down here. So she must be around somewhere. Okay, so it's given us find Mia as an objective. Okay. And I like the fact we've got no music at the moment, guys. I don't know. I wish we could go into the canteen. I feel like that would be where if we were going to go get puddings, that would be where they are. Carla and I are heading over to Gilbert's for a drink. Want to join us? I'm pretty pooped. It's a tough day. Then you've earned a cold drink even more. Hmm. Come on, it's on me. Okay, twist to my arm. But I'll pay for my own tab. Deal. We didn't get the blueberry pudding, guys. I hope that doesn't come back to bite us. <laughs> I'm telling you, a freshly tapped beer like that puts my feet back on the ground. No matter how bad my day's been. You mean refuel, don't you? Refuel too. I'm not much of a drinker. But today I'll make an exception. The day was stressful, but I'm kind of in a good mood. But while we're sitting here, could you do me a favour, Finley? Sure. In the future, please don't tell Dan- Oh, oh guys, I knew it. <laughs> I knew it. <laughs> I knew it. All right, well, that's like... <laughs> All right, we won't do it again. I'm sorry. <laughs> I was like, guys, I'm concerned. You know what? I'll be nice, so I'll let them know. And it's like <laughs> the exact thing you mentioned. Okay, it's, it's fine. My my feelings aren't hurt, Mia. My feelings aren't hurt. <laughs> in the future, in the future, please don't tell me the answers on the rounds. I know I can do it, and I want to do it on my own. That's literally what I was saying. Is that I feel like um, if I tell her the answer, she's gonna want to be like, "Oh, I can do this myself," and she was. <laughs> it's okay, Mia. I will not do it again. I will let you. I'll let you. You know, hats off. I will. I will. Set, I'll stand back. I know you can. I know you can do it. I know you can do it too. I promise I'll hold back next time. Thanks, here's to that. To Finley's vow of silence. What's wrong? I think he's practicing already. Has it always been like this in the hospital? What do you mean? Well, I've only been here a few weeks and I fall into bed every night completely wiped out. Even now I'm finding it hard to keep my eyes open. I feel the same way. You've been there forever, Carl. How did you deal with the stress for so long? Well, I think at some point you get used to it. When you realise that this stress is normal, maybe it gets easier to endure. It's not like you can make a formal complaint about it. I learned under Dr. Fearvold. He wasn't even the chief of medicine back then. He always had a sympathetic ear for people. For his patients, anyway. I would have liked to sin... Uh, so that's not us. I would have liked to have seen that. And our internal medicine department was upstairs on the fifth floor. Come to think of it, that was all quite a while ago. There was a, there was a ward on six? There was. Structural defects, Roman hydrate was from accounting said that was the only option. Too bad, I always liked it there. Right. And the work? Was everything then like it is not today? Well, not quite. We didn't have all this digital stuff. The doctors were always leaving their pens in the room. I had a really big connection at home, and Ingrid still fit into her normal office chair. But hey, the woman is awesome. Yeah, I like her too. Kind of. But was it as crazily stressful as today? Huh, hard to say. Like I said, it was quite a while ago. I remember I was always totally exhausted in my first few months. 
but that feeling went away at some point. I think it's like jogging. At some point you get past the point of exhaustion and you just keep running. I hate running. I like to go for a walk, does that count? Possibly. That makes you the most athletic of us by f that makes you by far the most athletic of us. Sad but true. No one has ever said that to me before. I don't even know how to feel. I gotta take a leak. You're ruining the moment here. You know that. Leave the kid alone. If you gotta go, you gotta go. But no dawdling. My glass won't fill itself. Alright. So there's like a, there's like another floor that we can't go into. Oh, we can walk around, guys. So this person. Leave me alone, kid. Alright. <laughs> uh, I was like, oh, let's talk to this person. No. Whenever I see a dartboard, I get fl foggy flashbacks. I actually like playing darts, even though I rarely hit anything. Same. I don't think I've ever won a match. Same. <laughs> but it's definitely better than foosball. Same. <laughs> I hate foosball. <laughs> Guys, how do you feel about that? Use more darts or foosball? <laughs> wow, I love records. I don't know why exactly. I barely ever listen to music, and when I do, it's digital. But this scratching and the noise is kind of reminding me of my grandpa. Ooh! No, we'll leave the jukebox on. Yeah, we're not turning that off. We're not going to ruin the vibes. Oh, I can't go up those stairs. Wait, I just want to check what's the other side. Ooh, what's in there? The list of beverages hasn't been updated in a while. Light gooseberry beer. Liver liqueur. Warm dawn mouse. And the bazooka seven rounds of surprise sounds. Hey Finley, my friend. Who stepped on your foot? Hey Gilan Gilano. Life. What's all this about? It's okay, long story. I feel like I like long stories. And I also like my life. You know, we're looking to some have something you can call daily routine. What do you mean? I took out the trash today at noon. The garbage bag ripped and all the gunk ran down my pants. That sounds unfortunate. Uh, nasty? Yeah, true. But not bad either, right? I guess not. I kept myself lucky to have nothing worse to tell you. Profound thoughts, but it's still a challenge sometimes with a daily life like that. Anyway, nice thoughts. There's a newspaper article on the wall. The bazooka hangs up his gloves. The bazooka, sorry. Boxing fans around the world would have been in tears this weekend, as one of the most famous boxers of recent decades announced his retirement. In just seven years, the, the bazooka hit his way into the hearts of the public, and now he's leaving unbruised. The bazooka commented on his decision at a board game convention. I have achieved everything in my career that I wanted to achieve. I have fought for love and peace, in the rain and in the snow and in the burning sun. Now it's time for me to face a longer and harder fight. That is why I'm retiring. The exact reasons for his retirement were not mentioned. In just seven years, he completed an over 518 fights. That's a lot of fights, isn't it, guys? 515 defeats. Two victories by the non-appearance of his opponents. <laughs> oh, he didn't... He only won twice, guys. Out of all the times he fought, he only won twice and had 515 defeats. Ooh. Oh no, and one victory by his knockout when his opponent laughed so hard he couldn't continue fighting. The bazooka was one of the worst boxers in history. He was, however, revered by his fans and his competitors for his humorous monologues. Wait a minute, the bazooka? Hmm. Why do all bar, bar restrooms smell like this? that artificial citrus scent? I mean, sure, nobody likes the smell of urine. But you have to cover it up with something even more unpleasant. Whenever I smell that artificial lemon, it makes me wretch. Ah, oh, whatever. Hold you, hold you. Oh no. Oh, hold you. I think it's been say hold your nose. Hold your nose. Hold your nose now and get through it. We go in this bedroom. Gilbert's is not at the only bar. It's not just the only bar, but also the only motel in town. It's not exactly a tourist hotspot. Honestly, I've never seen a tourist in Porcupine. 
Maybe that's why there's only one room. Okay, so let's get back. Let's head back these stony stairs. Thank God we haven't had more to drink. Sit down. I don't think my beer. Wait, was. I don't want to start something. Was our beer empty? I think we'll just sit down. We don't need to have a drink. There you are. Get out of. Keep them coming. The evening's only just begun. Is it wise for us to drink this much? I guess it's like technically we're not in work until the evening. Saying to us, this has become an old lady. An old lady with her paint peeling off. Frustrating. I always wanted to be a good doctor. But I'm afraid the stress is too much for me. They'll make mistakes. Or just lose the meaning of my work. Baloney, you save lives each and every day. Name me one thing that's more important. The main thing is to keep going, kid. Bah. I think the kid's right. You guys and that dump of yours is falling apart. You can't get anything done over there. Shut your mouth, Ralph. Nah, nah. Now I'll tell you something. You come in here, complaining about how hard your lives are. You should take a long, hard look at yourselves. Lazy, incompetent jerks that you are. Whoa, dude. This isn't, this isn't the time nor place for this. You can't even keep an indoor cactus alive. And you talk about curing people of cancer. You couldn't save my wife either. Oh, there it is. And why? Because all because you all have nothing between your ears, that's why. If it were up to me, I'd burn up the entire place down. I've been sitting here for no idea what time it is. And I'm still quicker witted than the two of you put together. Oh yeah? And what makes you think that you old drunk? I'll prove it. Please, please don't make us do darts. <laughs> bums. 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 We're playing bums now. Loser pays a tab. If you want to play, be, if you want to pay so bad, be my guest. Wait in a moment. What's bums? Kid, haven't you ever been to a bar before? Guys, what's bums? <laughs> Alright, listen up. In bums, we take it in turns to count from left to right. Oh no! <laughs> One, two, three, four, and so on. You can count, can't you? I think I can manage that. Can I? <laughs> Good. However, you're not allowed to say the number if there's a three or a seven in it. Okay. So we're not allowed to say the number if there's a three or a seven in it. Or if the number is divisible by three or seven. Oh, uh, what? Why? Why is it that every game I encounter, every game I've played, has had some sort of maths puzzle in it? I. <sighs> okay. Alright, I can do this. Alright. In that case, you say bums, and we and the direction we're counting in reverses. And if you count when it's not your turn, you lose two. Got it? I'm going to let down the team, guys. <laughs> this guy clearly needs to get it out of his system, though, right? Okay, here we go. I'm, uh, I'm not getting any younger. Go, I'll start. One, two. Uh, we count again, don't we? So they, they've said three, so we have we can go we go four, don't we? Four, five, eight. Oh wait, is it is it bums? Because it's going to be twelve. 13. Okay. Okay. Has anyone played that before? Because that's new to me. Like this. Now you see who's in charge here. Haha. <laughs> and now I'm going to have a big cold drink. Or 10. That was just luck. You cheeky garden gnome. What are you saying? Garden gnome? You look like the tip of a can swab. Hey, wait, I'll give you a Copperton Swab. Why are we doing it again? No? Oh, no! <laughs> that escalated quick, right? <laughs> Guys, did you speak never be fighting? 
All right, well, there's fighting. There's fighting. We've. This isn't great. Press X to attack Ralph as he lunges to strike. Press press and hold A to block Ralph's attacks and charge your special attack. Press Y to perform your special attack. I did not see this coming. Okay. X to attack Ralph as he lunges to strike. Press A and then press Y. Okay. So that's... Press and hold A. I think we're... Wait, what's going on? My character's not moving. Guys. Oh, it's just, just stuck. Oh, okay. I think that was an A. What happens when you press A? It's just... You have time up to... Oh, okay. Oh, that took a lot of us. Oh, we're down. All right, guys, that's enough. Don't force me to bring my gloves out of retirement. No, no, come join us. Come join us. Come defend our Anna. We can't do this. It's just going to be more fighting. I'm not going to be able to do this. <laughs> let's call it a night. Yeah, let's call it a night, guys. I think everyone needs to calm down. Let's call it... Hopefully they will calm down. Oh, we have a call. Let's turn our smartphone. Uh, answer. Finley, good morning. Pina here. Why are you up to, matey? What? Pina? Yeah, so you're driving for a tunnel or am I mumbling? Mumbling? What's wrong with you? Are you sick? Have you been infected by a deadly virus in the hospital? Do you have a disgusting rash on your belly? Show me. No, no, I'm fine. I was drinking at Gilbert's last night. You drink? I had no idea. Clearly not often enough. But I'm working the late shift today, so I can rest up. Blah, blah, blah. Let's do something. I already have an idea. Meet me at the marketplace. There's something I need to do. Need to see there. Oof, okay, give me 30 minutes. Don't keep me waiting. Looking forward to it. See ya. Okay. So what's... Alright. Meet Peanut at the market. Okay, so I don't think we've come across Peanut before, so it's... Ah, uh, there's a note. Thanks for reading me. Have a great day. Oh, that's nice. How nice. Thanks for thanks for hanging there, little note. Take care of yourself. Let's have it then. Drinks for summer. Drinks for fall. Drinks for the blues. Drinks for the heart. And fresh waffles. Ooh. Hmm. Waffles. Good morning, Guiana. Good morning, Sunny. It's already gone my day. You look pretty beat up, even though you didn't have fight yesterday. But I feel like it did. Young people nowadays just can't take anything anymore. When I was your age, you used to get drunk every night. And you fought every other day. That's how it was back then. I'm sorry about yesterday. I'm super bummed about that. Don't worry about it. Everyone gets into fights now and then. I'm telling you though. Settling your problems with your fists doesn't achieve anything. Are you speaking from experience? The nickname Barzooka didn't come from nowhere, kid. Is Ralph alright? I kind of felt sorry for him. Did you did you feel sorry for him? I felt sorry for him because of the situation, but like he beat he beat up our friend. <laughs> oh, it's not the boys first it's not the first time that old boy's been in a fight. I think he just needs that once in a while. You can drown all your stress and frustration in beer, you know. Can't draw. Drown. You can't drown, guys. You can't drown it all. So don't worry about it. I'm sure he'll be back in his regular seat tonight. And I'll be happy to have him as a customer again. You are the best barkeep, girl, I know. I hope I can come back again after last night. I'd be offended if you didn't. Okay. I like the way he's like, um, you know, Finley's eyes. When he's like all happy, he gets like a little kind of like, his lids kind of go up underneath his eyes. And I think it's quite cute. I'd also love to be able to play the guitar. Nice. Hi, friend. Oh, sorry, I didn't mean to interrupt. Keep playing. I like your music. It's all good. I hit pause on my guitar. I'll continue playing. Your guitar has a pause button? Sure, everything has a pause button if you think about it. You just have to find it. Hmm. 
looking up for Van Porcupine, are you? Nah, I'm just visiting. I'm performing at your hibernation festival and I thought I'd check the place out. It's going to get colder soon and it's supposed to rain today. Looks like that's it for the summer this year. But you can't celebrate a hibernation festival in the summer, can you? I'll be there for sure. It's the first hibernation festival. Of course, you'll be there. And I want to see you in the front row. Have a good one. See ya. Oh. I've only been in here in the evening before. The fountain was always off then. It's nice to see it in action. I've just realised, even though we're not in work till later, we're still wearing our doctor's coat and scrubs. We're very dedicated. <laughs> There's a little pla little stone plaque here. Nino Slav Honoritis, founder of Porcupine, it says. Okay. Oh, I'm guessing this is our friend. Do I talk to my mom and just have a quick look what's over here? <gasps> oh, guys, I'm in the front of their car. Wait, wait, oh, that bucket of bolts has seen better days. It smells like cigarettes. Uh, the key is in... Uh... <gasps> Guys, we can steal this car. I don't think that's a good idea. Uh, I hit the road, always heading towards the horizon, or I'd rather not. I'm kind of tempted, I'm not going to lie. I'm telling myself to be good, but I'm very tempted just to see if we could. <laughs> hit the road, always heading towards the horizon. Okay, I'll do it. Let's go. I want to see the world. <gasps> okay, guys, the car is about to start. We can't, we're, not, we're not just stealing someone's vehicle. Huh? It won't start. I mean, of course no. There's no way I'm just going to steal this car. Change my name. Forget, forge a new ID. And sell homemade anklets online. They fought out their whole life, though. I can't, I, I genuinely, but for a second thought it was going to let us steal that. There you are. Where have you been? Hey, Pina. I'm glad to see you too. You look tired. You okay? Yeah, everything's fine. Lots on at the hospital right now. And Guilherme's gooseberry beer is really tasty. But my head is pounding. You can't just take anything. The evening didn't end so well last night, or why are you at the marketplace? I don't want to kind of talk about the evening, so let's go marketplace. We're preparing for the hibernation festival. The stage construction has started already, a bit early in my opinion. But the city wants it that way. Best to play it safe. And what do you have to do with it? I'm in charge of the greenery for, for um, I'm in charge of the greenery for the marketplace and stage. Do you have that many plants in your store? That's why we're discussing it now. I still have uh, to get a lot, be a lot more before then. But it's going to be great. You should be looking forward to it. Didn't you say we were going to do something? Yeah, sure. And what was it? We're going for a ride. Why did I have to come to the marketplace then? Couldn't you have just picked me up? Who do you think I am? I have to work after all, unlike you lazy bones. I thought the little book wouldn't do you any harm. Well then, shall we go? I don't think there was anything else for us to look and do, so I'd say ready. Hooray, let's go! Okay, so where are we? We're gonna walk from here. Where are we? This is Glamour Quads. I like to come here when I'm stressed and need of fresh air. And you seem pretty stressed lately. I thought you could use a walk. I seem stressed? Yep. Here we go. You're going to love it. Oh, okay. So, that's Pina's car. She sits at the driver of her plants around town. Considering that she's so fond of nature, her car is surprisingly full of trash. Run the opposite direction of her back to town, back to the hospital. Okay, let's have a little look then. What's up this way? 
Well, the music's nice, isn't it? This is cute. Oh, I take a little still of that. For that one. There we go. I always thought hearts and like this only existed on cheesy movies. I mean, I'm happy for them. But they didn't have to torture the poor tree for it. Who knows if they're still together? That tree has been scarred forever now. I love scar. Uh, I feel dirty now. Rightly so. Let's go. Yeah, let's. Ah, oh, the music's so nice. It's a very pretty game actually as well. Oh, so, oh, we gotta go this way. It's kind of giving me like a, I said, Night in the Woods vibes and that's not a bad thing at all. Wow, what's that? That's all that's left. Left of what? There used to be some kind of strong here, hold here a few centuries ago. Even before Porcupine was founded, there was a first village right at the foot of the forest. And here in the forest, there lived a king, a count, or a king, or whatever. I mostly skipped history. I see. And that's it. Does the moss grow extra fast here? Was the ruin built from the healing stones? Does this wall taste like raspberry when you lick it? Um... Uh, I, I like the second one. Was the ruin built from healing stones? Hey, don't say anything about healing stones. I always kept a piece of virus quartz into my pillow when I was a kid. And did it help? I kept a... Uh, when I was younger I used to keep amethyst into my pillow because my dad was always super into stones so I can kind of relate to that. She gave me like a big kind of quartz of, uh, of amethyst when I was little. And I was into like picking up stones so I used to go dig stones in the back garden. And I'd always be pretend. I'd always think I'm like, uh, kind of like, archaeologizing it, you know, like, oh, what am I going to find? And I'd always get the stones, but all of them would just be rocks, and I'd go and wash them and everything. But they were just like rocks and stones. But when my nan gave me like a bit of amethyst. I did used to keep them pillow because my nan had like a little book. And I thought, you know, made me feel better as a kid. And did it help? No idea, but it looked nice. No, but back then the Count, or the King, or whoever actually lost something here. A little golden statue. I heard that statue worked like a divining rod. No, not water, but treasure. It attracts treasure. The statue has been lost ever since, and is said to be lying around here somewhere still. No one's been able to find the statue, but they say that anyone who goes looking for it will be rewarded with their own treasure. How ironic. Hey, don't make fun. I used to climb around here a lot when I was a kid and I found lots of treasure. And now it's your turn. You could use some treasure today, so go on, get searching. Do I have to? We're not leaving here until you find your treasure. Alright. Find your treasure. Can I go up here? Oh, I can as well. Can we, we can jump on these little bits of uh, rock here as well, guys. So it's just, how far can we go? Oh, there's a stick at the very top. Do you reckon that could be our treasure? Let's go. Oh, I thought I could make that. Up here, maybe? And then up there? There we go. Then over here. Oh, I went... I think I might have went the wrong way. So maybe jump up here. Up this... No, can I get up there? Let's try this way. Up here. Back over here. And... There we go. We've got a stick. Oh, look at that. Oh, look how we can float. We have a stick, so I think that might be our treasure that we can take back. But I wonder if we can find anything else. Until I find a treasure, there's no way Pina's going to come with me. Okay, so the stick is our treasure. So let's go bring that to Pina then.
Well, are we happy, Dr. Jones? Hmm, I don't know. I just found this old stick. That's perfect. Really? It's just a triad of old stick. They're all over the place here. But this stick comes from magical rune. That means the stick is magic too. Your own magic stick. I'm quite jealous. So, does that count? Absolutely. Come on, let's go. And take good care of your magic stick. Alright, let's go and uh, let's go to the next part then. I like this game guys, I think this is nice. Out of breath already? Well then, let's go. We're almost there now. Alright, where are we going then? I thought that would be like the room would be the main thing, but I guess it's not. Oh, look at this. Oh, it's so we can see like a big view. Oh, we can see the whole time. How do you like it? The view is great. I mean, in Porcupine. Settled in yet? Not really. Well, I think it's really nice here. But even though the town is so small, I still haven't got my bearings. It's unfamiliar. Why are you still here? Well, I grew up here. I was even born in St. Ursula's. Really? Yeah, so was everyone else here in Porcupine. I never, uh, I never thought of it, but I never thought about it before. There's a part of me that always longs to get away. To the big city or another country far away. But another part of me keeps me here. I like the small alleys and the narrow streets. I like the people here. And of course, I like my store. I feel like I can make a difference here. I always realise that at this time of year. Especially when the hibernation festival is coming up. I've heard about that. That's why you're at the marketplace, right? The hibernation festival is the best time of year for me. There's drinks, live bands, dancing all night long, and of course the big stew contest. Everyone comes together again before the cold season hits. Hmm. What is it? I hope I can make a difference here too. Well, of course, Finley, look at you. You're a doctor. Sure, but it's not easy either. Nobody said it was. You can make small things happen. For example? For example... Do you still have your magic stick? Oh! See? What's that? That's your monument. The people of Porcupine will be craning their necks upwards, skywards, to, see, to gaze upon this mighty edifice. Who was this Finley? How did he make it all the way up there? And was Pina Sin, the tree master and queen of plants, really as hot as they say she was? That's what they'll be wondering. They'll sing ballads about us in the taverns. The children will reenact your adventures in the streets. You'll see. Sounds like a plan. Thanks. Don't mention it, Finley. Now it's your turn. Make it happen, my student. We should get going. My shift is about to start. Okay, fine. My arms are getting tired too. I can give you a ride. Thanks. Stop thanking me for everything or you have to walk. Got it. Why don't we just glide downhill? Oh, cool guys. As we're walking off screen, it's actually zooming in further from this. Oh, that's interesting. That's a nice little mechanic. Again, I won't thank you for the ride. So, no thanks. It wasn't my pleasure. Please don't ever call me again, that trip was really lousy. You ruined my entire day. Don't worry, I'll gladly never take you anywhere ever again. I really hope you don't. <laughs> oh, it started raining. Uh, just in time. That's not a good sign, is it? We would've been gotten soaked out here. Are you made of sugar? Think of the plants. They need something to drink too. This summer was extremely dry. Yes, you're right. You don't mind the rain? None at all, I love the rain. I'm the exact opposite. I'd better go inside. I got my ass kicked yesterday because I was late. You go on ahead. I'll stay here a little longer and enjoy the rain. Don't let them get to you. Never. Hope we're not late. Start your shift. Okay. 
Hopefully we're just in time to start a shift curse. Oh, are they painting over it? I think Greg had just gave up. Or he had too much respect for us. I think it was probably the, the first one. I think he probably just gave up. Let's go inside. Oh. Hello, can I help you? Do you work here? I've just started, but at least I get to wear scrubs already. Wise cracker. I've been waiting for half an hour. I need to talk to the chief of medicine. Do you know where he is? No, sorry, Dr. Theobald's always busy. I myself have only ever met him during his chief of medicine's rounds. I've been standing around here forever and the first person I run into is this rookie. Fantastic. Is there anything I can do to help you? No, not unless you get promoted to chief of medicine today. Sorry. <laughs> I don't think that's quite going to happen. <gasps> hmm. Things don't always work out. Pity. <laughs> that's a really loud bang. There's our squabbler. Squabbler? My buddy's Ralph told me about your little argument. Apparently he got a pretty good bashing from Carl. He was in a really bad mood today. Maybe next time you'd still have to stay out of each other's way. Ralph is a nice guy, but he drinks way too much. Anyways, Dr. Krakowski has already done the handover. She's in the general meeting this evening with all the phys senior physicians. Dr. Theobald and Dr. Mr. Hen Heydrich are there too, so it's going to take a while, and you'll have to manage without her. So I'm supposed to give you your shift for tonight. Have fun, kid, and don't kill anyone. Alright, turn on our smartphone. New tasks available, okay, downloading today's schedule. Schedule updated. Okay, so we have... Is there anything in the spin this time? Wasn't there another trash can here yesterday? Alright, so I think... Oh, is the lift's fixed? Oh. And up it takes us. Okay, so we need to go to 301. Ah, so it is this way. Okay, so we've still got the same patients as last day, so last time. Um, so let's go 301 first. Good evening. How are you today? I'm feeling a little better. Your colleagues have been taking good care of me. I'm glad to hear that. And the pain? Still there, but I've at least managed to turn myself over in the meantime. It opens up a whole new world, I'll tell you. Yes, pain is sometimes shows us how good we actually have it without it. Wise words. Mm. Can we treat the rash? Let me treat your rash. Oh, let me treat your rash. Of course. I feel fine, but I haven't gotten up in two days either. So it look probably wouldn't hurt. Yeah, I think it's a good idea, because uh, the dressing and everything. Alright, that way. That way. Cool. This way. Awesome. Treatment complete. We got an A for that, guys. Awesome. There you go, you're on the road to recovery. That's good. Nevertheless, I'm afraid you have to stay here for a few more days. Shingles are not to be trifled with. But it sounds nice. It reminds me of the Christmas. It reminds me of the beach. Shingles? Why? Don't know. I guess shingle bells are the first thing that came to mind. Keep resting up. Have a great day. Alright, let's go check on the others. So we've got two of our patients to check in on. I'm worried about the one in like P30, I think it's P31. But I'll do the other first, and um, 302. Oh. So music just picked up. Hello? Everything okay? Good evening, Miss Summit. Not a good evening at all. I'm miserable as hell. I'm in a lot of pain. And nauseous too. I guess we'll have to increase the dose of your painkillers after all. Can you please, can you up it please, quickly please? I'm really not well. Okay, I'll talk to the nurses right away. But let's not overdo it. I'll change your dressing for now. 
go ahead, I'll just picture somewhere nice. Okay. Interesting. Yes? How long do we have to hold up for? Oh. <laughs> okay. Okay. <laughs> I was wondering how long we would have to hold up for. Okay, so we have to hold these two. This one. This one. Oh, it's going to say we did badly on that one. There we go. It's when you get some, like, on the buttons before the other side, you just start, like, you have to, like, really twist your hands around. <laughs> okay, done. Now, could you please tell the nurses? I've already put it in, a, in your file. It'll be taken care of. Ouch. I hope the one who wanted blueberry puddings yesterday is okay. Yeah, that was the last one, I'm pretty sure. Hopefully they're doing okay. I'm gonna go check on them. I'll have to check on them anyway, but... I hope they're okay. Because the fact that all of the senior medical people aren't available... Says to me I might have to deal with something serious by myself, right? Oh, you okay? Good evening, Mrs. Darwin. Oh, Doctor. I've already forgotten it's raining outside. I'm glad to see you too. Was your pudding hunt successful? I'm afraid not. But you know, another day, another pudding. I'll keep my fingers crossed. What can I do for you today? I'd like to discuss the results of yesterday's blood test with you. Sounds great. Your blood sugar levels are abnormal. Nothing alarming yet, but let's find out what's wrong with you. Gladly, I'm prepared for anything. Okay, so what we gotta do? This is gonna be... Oh, it's this one again. Okay, so... Uh, okay, let's just try some random ones. Brain. Two. I don't feel like... Let's try bone. Um, oh, okay. So, we've got these options. So, we got four uh, We got four correct, but they're not in the correct places. Is there another option we're missing? For, should we try that and just check if we get all the right ones? Okay, so it's one of the other ones. It's not correct. Oh my god, I feel like we're not going to get this right, but... Um... Do we have to do two of the same option? Because these, all these ones were different above it. Okay. Why don't we just try swapping it out? So let's put the bone there, the brain, uh, the foot there, the hand there. I definitely think the stomach's supposed to be on here as well. So let's try that one. Okay, we've got two correct. So those two are staying where they are. Okay, so we've got stomach which is in the right place brain that's not in the correct place neither is the foot so maybe hand let's try should we try tooth and then foot there let's try that we got three correct so these two are just gonna change out so should we try maybe foot and brain one incorrect tooth there we go. I don't think it'd be anything to do with the tooth. Okay. Got B on that ranking, and you know what? I don't blame it. Okay, now that I know what's wrong with you, I'm afraid you are suffering from a form of diabetes. Diabetes, is that serious? Diabetes is not a rare disease, and there are many treatments available now. I think you can go home tomorrow, but you have to be treated with medicine, medications as soon as possible. That'll keep your blood sugar levels stable, and the discomfort will go away. And the blueberry pudding? I'm afraid you'll have to be a little bit more careful with those in the future. But since your blood sugar is too low right now, you'll get two today. Okay, that does sound better, thank you. You'll be back on your feet and uh, you'll be back on your feet soon, I promise. 
Okay. So, we actually do need to get them puddings this time. I did think, like, why were they craving sort of the sugar, but... At least we know. Oh! Oh, no. Bintley, there's a problem. What's up? Mr. An Anders. Mr. Anders is up? What do you mean? Mr. Anders is up and gone. Is Mr. Anders a patient? Yes, now focus. He was lying in his bed just now. I only left for a moment. And then he was gone. Do you have any idea where he could be? Maybe he just went to the bathroom. Well, that's the first place I looked, of course. The man is old and suffering from dementia. He shouldn't be wandering around here all alone. I've already searched the whole ground floor, no trace of him. I'll help you, we'll find him. Okay, great, Mira's on lookout too. Oh man, if, if Kowski finds out, I'll be sh head shorter. Okay. So we're missing a patient. Five is a missing patient, and I didn't try... Th Alright, we should probably check the exits first, right guys? So... Yeah, let's get let's maybe let's go downstairs. So if we're getting the lift, will it let us choose which floor we can go to? Oh gosh. Oh. <gasps> um. We're in a different area. For a moment, I thought the elevator was going to come crashing down. Why is it stopped here? Is that the fifth floor ward? Cole told me something about it. The door looks like it's like the door looks like it's been used to be that it used to be blocked. Maybe the patient ends up in here too. I'll have to check. That's daunting, right? And the music's all changed as well. Let's have a little look. Okay, let's have a little look. There's nothing over this side. Oh look at the way our eyes kinda glow. That's cute. That's very good nicely done. jump over these boxes. I wonder if anyone is up here. Oh, these notes have been here for a while. Jump up. Let's jump up here. I wonder if there's anyone even up here or if we're just gonna like... Oh, this door's open. Okay, double, double check the around there. <gasps> Hello? Okay, it pushes back, I think. Hello? Hello? Oh, wait, what's on the floor, guys? What is that on the floor? Is that like. Is that blood? Is that. Okay, you know what? That looks. That looks worrying. Should we go and, should we go and try in that room first, or should we continue following. The, I'm, you know, I'm gonna follow the bloodstains. I'm gonna be that person. Is that blood? Looks fresh. Oh, that's that's a lot of blood if it is. Oh no. Hello? <gasps> what the? Damn, that's Mr. Anders. Is he dead? I need to get him out of there quickly. <gasps> what was that? Hello? Is someone there? Oh! So we've just... We went into this fifth floor that we're not supposed to go on. There's a person bleeding out. I wonder if we should have gone in that room. Do you think we should have gone in that room, guys? To miss a treat not going in that room. I don't think we would have been able to go in, actually. Anyway, I think it would have been like, Oh, the door's open. I'm not going to go in there, though, because... Or I can't see anyone in there. Ho hopefully it would have been like that. Hopefully I haven't missed something cool out. The full game, I think, comes out soon. I think that was a really cool kind of little game. I'm kind of excited to see where it goes. What do you guys think now? I'd love to know your thoughts.